Welcome everyone. So today I want to talk about the ICANN calendar that I made. A couple of weeks ago Instructables.com contacted me and said that they really liked my YouTube channel and if I would like to enter a contest. And of course I said yes and in return they gave me a one year pro membership which I think was pretty cool. So after I designed the ICANN calendar in Inkscape I head over to the laser cutter and start engraving out and also doing the cutout for the frame. I also would just like to apologize for my voice. I've been suffering with a flu over the last couple of weeks. This is also one reason why this video has been so delayed. I designed it for three millimeter ply and I also gave it tabs for ease of assembly. This is a DIY laser cutter of mine. Um, I don't have any footage of me assembling this uh, machine because I started this project way before I started my YouTube channel and hopefully I'll be doing an overview of this machine in the near future. Now it's time for the assembly. I start by laying out the pieces on a flat surface. I insert the bottom and the small piece into the sides first. Then I slot the main ICANN calendar board into place and place the other piece on top. I made a small mistake on the original drawing. It didn't end up being a press fit, so I had to use a little bit of glue to keep it together. But the new drawings have been updated and they should be a perfect fit now. After the glue is dried, it's time to make the blocks for the days of the weeks and also the months. So on the table saw, I'm just ripping a bunch of strips of 19 millimeters wide. I'm doing it 19 millimeters wide because my board is 19 millimeters thick and that will make a perfect square. After I cut all my strips, I take them and I put them in pairs of five and take them all together. This is just an easy way to cut them all to 77 millimeters long. Uh, this is how long it needs to be to fit into the ICANN calendar box. And to make the date numbers, I cut a couple of strips of 38 millimeters wide and glue them together in long strips. This just makes it easier to cut them to 38 mils again, and that will end up giving us a very nice 38 millimeter cube. And finally I head over to the laser cutter to start engraving all the days of the week, months and also the dates. The dates work out that you need two ones, two twos and then a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I use the six that I can use as a nine as well. And if you want to make your own, check the link in the description below. That will take you directly to the instructable. I also would like to thank Instructables.com for this opportunity and also for the one year free membership. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also go check me out on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram account is at splinterdiy. They didn't give me CNC why I don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.